Hi everyone, welcome to Infinite Learn by Sri Chaitanya. So in today's class, we will try to solve some good questions of algebra, right? And these questions will be based on the identities. So hopefully, all the identities you will know. Okay, so let us recall, quickly recall the identities first. Then we will solve the question quickly, right? So quickly recall the identities first. Then we will solve the question quickly, right? So quickly recall the identities first. Then we will solve the question quickly, right? So quickly recall the identities first. Then we will solve the question quickly, right? So the first identity that you should know is a plus b whole square. So what is a plus b whole square, guys? So this is a square plus two ab plus b square, right? इसी तरीके से अगर मैं आपसे पूछूं कि what is a minus b whole square? So a minus b whole square for this it become minus two ab. Remaining will be same, right? And what is a square minus b square? A square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. ओके okay. इसी तरीके से अगर मैं आपसे पूछूं कि व्हाट इज ए प्लस बी प्लस सी होल स्क्वायर देन ए प्लस बी प्लस सी होल स्क्वायर इज ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर प्लस टू टाइम्स ऑफ ए बी प्लस बी सी प्लस ए सी राइट सिमिलरली व्हाट इज ए प्लस बी होल क्यूब ए प्लस बी होल क्यूब इज ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब प्लस थ्री ए बी ए प्लस बी इफ आई आस्क वॉट इज ए माइनस बी होल क्यूब फॉर माइनस ऑल प्लस साइन बिकम माइनस राइट नाउ द नेक्स्ट आइडेंटिटी इज ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब इज ए प्लस बी ए स्क्वायर माइनस ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर सिमिलरली वॉट इज ए क्यूब माइनस बी क्यूब ए क्यूब माइनस बी क्यूब इज ए माइनस बी ए स्क्वायर प्लस ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर राइट नाउ द लास्ट आइडेंटिटी इज ए प्लस ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब प्लस सी क्यूब माइनस थ्री ए बी सी एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी प्लस सी ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर माइनस ए बी माइनस बी सी माइनस ए सी सो दीज आर द आइडेंटिटीज एंड यू शुड नो ऑल दीज आइडेंटिटीज टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन राइट या सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन पार्ट गाइज नॉ द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स प्लस वन इज जीरो देन द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स क्यू विल बी सो हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन सो योर फर्स्ट अप्रोच इज यू विल ट्राई टू फैक्ट्राइज दिस वंस यू डू दिस यू कैन नॉट फैक्ट्राइज इट बिकॉज This equation has complex root means d is less than zero. Okay, so what I will do? We will try to solve this question with the help of identities. So since we have to find the value of x cube, so either I can use the identity of x cube plus one cube or x cube minus one cube, right? So if I use the identity of x cube plus one cube, so we know that a cube plus b cube is a plus b a square. प्लस बी स्क्वायर माइनस ए बी अगर मैं इसको फर्दर सिंप्लीफाई करूंगा व्हाट वी विल गेट एक्स प्लस वन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स प्लस वन राइट एंड व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स प्लस वन दिस इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन एंड दिस इज जीरो राइट इट मींस वी कैन रिप्लेस दिस बाय जीरो सो एक्स क्यूब प्लस वन क्यूब इज जीरो सो फ्रॉम यूर वी कैन से दैट एक्स क्यूब इज माइनस वन right so the correct answer is b option so i hope this is clear to everyone so there are many approach to solve a particular question and you have to use all approach to get the right answer okay and all these approach comes from practice more you will do the practice more approach will strike in your mind to solve the questions okay now next question again this is very important question for olympiads if a minus 5 whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus d whole square Plus b plus c plus d minus nine whole square is zero. Then the value of a plus b plus c into b plus c plus d is right. So how will solve this question? See, in order to find these values, means we have to product, we have to find the product of these two expression, and these two expression have a, b, c, d. Let us find the value of a, b, c, d separately. So for this, you should know this concept. If x square plus y square Is zero, right? So this x square is always positive. Whether you will put negative value or positive value, it always gives the positive value, right? Because 
this is e square similarly this is also e square means the sum of two positive expression is zero when this is possible this is only possible if either x is zero and y is zero right okay now you can use same concept here this is basically the addition of e squares is zero when this is possible when the particular term is zero so simply equate all these terms to zero to find the value of a b c d so the first condition will be a minus 5 will be zero so from here we will get a is 5 right from here what we will get b minus c is equal to 0 so b is equal to c from here we will get c minus d is equal to 0 so c is d and from here we will get b plus c plus d minus 9 is 0 b plus c plus d minus 9 is 0 so b plus c plus d is 9 right and what is the value of b c and d if we see we can already find the relation between b and c and d and they are equal it means we can replace b c d by b so what we will get 3 b is 9 so b is 3 right so if b is 3 so from here c will be 3 and if c is 3 then d is 3 right so what is the conclusion the value of a is 5 b is 3 c is 3 and d is 3 simply put here so you'll get 5 plus 3 plus 3 then 3 plus 3 plus 3 that is 11 into 9 is 99 so the right answer is d option okay so again this concept is very important to solve the questions of algebra right so we'll try to solve the questions from different logic right yeah now the next one if a polynomial x power 4 minus 4x square plus x cube plus 2x plus 1 is div divided by x minus 1, then the remainder will be. Again guys, this is quite easy question. Simply try to solve this question and try to write the correct answer in the chat box, right? And if you are new on the platform, then please subscribe the channel and please share this session among your friends so that they can enjoy. Okay? Yeah. Because sharing is only caring, okay? see so how to solve this question great great response from everyone in order to solve this question guys we will use remainder theorem what is remainder theorem suppose we have a polynomial px and this polynomial is divided by x minus a then the remainder is always p of a right this is called as remainder theorem and we have already studied this remainder theorem and factor theorem in class 9th right so let us use remainder theorem so suppose this is our polynomial px okay and this divisor is x minus a so from here x is 1 so the remainder will be p of 1 right and how will find p of 1 simply replace x by 1 will get p of 1 so 1 power 4 minus 4 into 1 square plus 1 cube plus 2 into 1 plus 1 right so after further simplification, we'll get 1 minus 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1. That is 5 minus 4 and 5 minus 4 is 1. So the right answer is B option. Okay. Now the next one. If x plus 1 by x is 3, then find the value of x power 6 plus 1 by x power 6. Try this, guys. And I know you can solve this question if you know the identity is right. Yeah. And please write the answer in the chat box. Yeah. Do it fast. See, so since we have to find the value of x power 6 plus 1 by x power 6 and we don't have any identity like a plus b power 6, right? So we'll try to break this bigger identity into a smaller identity. So first of all, try to find the value of x square plus 1 by x square. Then again, cube them, then you'll get x power 6 plus 1 by x power 6, right? And how you'll find the value of x square plus 1 by x square? Simply do the squaring both sides. So x plus 1 by x whole square is 9 once you solve this you will get a square plus b square plus 2 a b so x x get cancel out from here x square plus 1 by x square is 9 minus 2 that is 7 right okay let us do the cube both side so what we will get x cube x square plus 1 by x square whole cube 
is 7 cube. So from here you will get x power 6 a cube plus b cube plus 3 ab a plus b and what is 7 cube 7 cube is 3 4 3 just solve this guys x square x square get cancel out x square plus 1 by x square is 7 so this is 7 3 into 7 is 21 so x power 6 plus 1 by x power 6 is equal to 343 minus 21 that is 322 so the right answer is d option okay so kafi easy question tha and totally based on the concept of identity is yeah now the next question if a cube plus b cube plus c cube is 3 a b c a plus b plus c is not equal to 0 then the which of the following option is true right so already each is aapne padha hoga sirf ek hi aap padhte ho that is the problem only means a cube plus b cube plus c cube is equal to 3 b a b c and this happens in two condition what is the first condition that everyone know a plus b plus c is 0 but this is already mentioned a plus b plus c is not 0 then what is the second condition second condition is all of them must be equal okay so this condition holds true for these two scenarios right first scenario a plus b plus c must be 0 and the third is a b c must be equal but you this is not true this is not valid so we can use this one which is your option c okay now the next one if a is 1.21 b is 2.33 and c is minus 3.44 then value of a cube plus b cube plus c cube plus 3 a b c is okay so read the question carefully and please try to write the correct answer in the chat box and yeah please like the session also right yes so how to solve this question guys so let us find the value of a plus b plus c what is the value of a plus b plus c so this is 1.21 plus 2.23 plus minus 3.44 once you add this, you will get a plus b plus c is 0. If a plus b plus c is 0, then a cube plus b cube plus c cube is 3 a b c, right? If the question was find the value of a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c, then the correct answer will be a option. But here it is plus 3 a b c. It means we can replace this a cube plus b cube plus c cube by 3 a b c. So it becomes 3 a b c plus 3 a b c and that is 6 a b c. So the right answer is 6 a b c and that is option D. Okay. All good to go. Now the next one. If a square plus b square plus c square is equal to ab plus bc plus ac then you have to find the value of this expression so to solve this question let me tell you one more identity that is very important also you can prove this identity and please learn this one a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ac is always equal to half a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square right this is very important okay okay yeah so please note down now let me now you can solve this the question by using this identity so in the question what is given a square plus b square plus c square is ab plus bc plus ac so from that we conclude that a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ac is 0 okay a 0 is matlab we can write half a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square to 0 right because this LHS is 0 which is given in the question. So if we multiply 1 by 2 to this side then you will get this term get eliminated so no need to write this. 
So again, what is this? This is sum of squares of phi expression is 0 when this is possible. If this particular expression is should be 0, so a minus b is 0 from here a is equal to b. Similarly, b minus c is 0. So from here b is equal to c and from here c minus a is 0. So we can say that c is equal to a. If I club all these three, so we can say that a plus b plus c must be equal, right? Okay, so let us use this here. So what is given? A square plus B square plus C square is equal to AB plus BC plus AC. So from here we can write A square plus B square plus C square minus AB minus BC minus AC is 0. And this is only possible if A is equal to B is equal to C already proved, right? So in order to solve this question, we can replace A is equal to B is equal to C by some constant K. So what it become? A plus, so it become K plus K that is 2K by K. Similarly, 2K by K. Similarly, 2K by K, right? And what is this? This is K by 2K. K by 2K. And K by 2K. So what is this? 6K by K. 6K by K is 6 into, and this is K plus k plus k, 3k by 2k, that is 3 by 2. So 2, 3 is a 6, 3, 3 is a 9. So the right answer is 9, which is B option. Okay, now the next one. Again, guys, this is a good question. If A is 2002, B is 2023, and C is 2024, then A square plus B square plus C square minus AB minus BC minus AC is. So how to solve this question? If you, agar aap kya karoge, agar sari values isme put karoge, then it will take time, right? It means there is, you can solve this question by using some other logic, right? What is the logic? So simply use this formula, a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ac is always equal to half. Since we have to find the value of this one, right? So this is always equal to half a minus b whole square, then b minus c whole square then c minus a whole square right so so instead of putting the value here simply put a b c here so what you will get a minus b difference of a and b is 1 so this is minus 1 whole square again the difference of b and c is 1 so this is minus 1 whole square and the difference of c and a is 2 so 2 square now solve this guys you will get half 1 plus 1 plus 4 that is 4 plus 2 6 6 by 2 is 3 okay so if you know this identity then you can solve this question within a minute right and you will get the right answer because is no essay calculation error hone ke chances nahi hai. okay guys so that's all for today's session hopefully you have enjoyed the session guys yeah so try to practice more questions from your textbook or whatever source you have, try to practice these type of questions, okay? Yeah. If you are new on the platform, then subscribe the platform and please don't forget to share it among your friends. Thank you guys for joining the session. Bye-bye. Take care.